Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Try to discuss the derivative of a to the power of x, or basically uh, the general exponential function, and go over the proof of it. And basically, if we have a is greater than zero, I'll explain in a bit why this has to be true for uh, basically a to the x. Uh, then the derivative is just simply d over dx of a to the power of x equals a to the power of x times ln a and the reason that this uh, we can only deal with a is greater than zero is because well if if for example a is less than zero such as the function let's say negative two to the power of two we know this is equal to four now if we have uh, negative two to the power of three this equals to eight and as you could actually no negative eight because it's uh so basically when you have a negative 2 to the power of 2, that's negative 2 times negative 2, that's equals 4, ne 2 negatives become positive. But this is 3 negative, so you have a negative 8, and if you have a negative uh, 2 to the power of 4, this again, it's uh, it's an even number. Yeah, so since it's even, the negatives all cancel, you're going to have a plus 16. And then when you even get into the, uh, let's say, the fraction, so negative 2, power of 2.5 yeah this gets a bit tricky and it that uh, uh, the answer is actually about 5.65 dot 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 times it by I so this imaginary number so they yeah, this imaginary number so what this means is basically we can't have a function defined for a is l less than 0 for this a to the power of x because you have this it goes to positive negative it just basically jumps positive negative uh, positive with in between there's all these imaginary numbers so that it's not defined and I'll just write that down so this all these cases are not defined so we can only deal with in the, so the basically this fun function this general exponential function a to the power of x is only true when a is greater than zero so now to get to the proof of the derivative first recall this definition which I went over in my earlier video you can see that in the video link below. Basically, a to the power of x equals e to the power of x times ln a. And if you use basic log uh, log rules right here, you can see that this e to the x, this could bring it on top. That's just ln a to the power of x. Now these lons and e cancels, you're just left with ax. So you could easily go back and forth to it. This is just writing it in this way because we know how to do the derivative of this from our earlier video. Uh, basically, the derivative of e to the x is itself, but in this case, we'll use the chain rule. So to do to prove this derivative, first let's just write d over dx of a to the x. Now this equals two. All we do is replace the a to the x with its equivalent e to the x ln a. And now we could do the derivative of this, and we know that derivative of e to uh, anything is just it's all itself. So the derivative, would, the, the derivative would be e to the x times ln a. But now since we have this extra ln a, we have to use the chain rule and take the derivative of the inside function, which is this x ln a. And that answer is just ln a. And now what we could do is basically throw this right back in now because this is a to the x. So our final, our final answer is a to the x times the by ln a and as you can see right here this is basically this answer right here and that's the proof and now we have uh, several cases uh, if, if a for example is greater than 1 then in this case we'll get um, ln a would be basically greater than 0 because this ln function if I were to graph uh, just a quick one or like this this is a this is ln a or, or y equals ln a as go equals y yeah, I just actually just rearrange that. But anyway, so the log function looks something like this. Uh, and then at this point here, we're at 0. This is a 1 at right here. And as you can see, when you are greater than 1, when a is greater than 1, this function right here is greater than 0. But if you're between uh, basically 0 right here and 1, if you're between it, then you have in this case right here where... Um, where this ln a is actually negative right here. So what this means now is if you have ln a is greater than zero, then then basically a to the x, or the derivative, let's just go um, d over dx 
of a to the x equals to a to the x times ln a. And in this case right here, this means the derivative is greater than zero because this is always greater than zero. Yeah, so this, this is a to the x, anything if you have negative, to the power of, uh, power of you know, not negative, I mean, uh, this one, yeah, it's always positive because it's just going to be, well, it's greater than 1, so 2 to the power of anything is always going to be positive, always going to be greater than 0. So now we have everything greater than 0. So this means now that the derivative is, is greater than 0, so a to the x is increasing right here. Yeah, so it is increasing, and, and uh, likewise, if you have a is less than 1 but greater than 0, then in this case, we'll have ln of a, because it's in between here, is less than 0. So when it's less than 0, then we have a to the x, or oh, this is a derivative, d over dx of a to the x equals 2 a to the x times ln a. This becomes less than 0 because we know this is less than 0. And this one is always, well, always greater than 0, because anything, because it's, it's a is positive, to the power of anything is going to be greater than 0. So greater than 0 times by less than 0, that's plus times a negative. We get less than 0. So then this means if the derivative is uh, negative, then the function a to the x is decreasing right here. So now if you were to graph these, yeah, so if you were to graph these for the case where a is greater than 0, it's going to look something like this right here. This is a to the power of x. And this is when a is greater than 1, I mean, not 0. So when a is greater than 1, so this is increasing function. But when a is uh, less than 1, greater than 0, you have a decreasing function like this. And this is a to the x. And this is when a is less than 1, greater than 0 right here. Yeah, and, and as you can see, it is basically decreasing right here. So this is how the function looks like. Anyway, so uh, hopefully uh, you learned from this quick video and hopefully you enjoyed it. And like always, you can download these exact, vid exact notes in the link below. They're also over here, these links. You can type them or download this and click them. And uh, yeah, and also just make sure to watch the, the videos, the related videos in the description below as well. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution